Hi, I just got this cool package that I've been waiting for forever. You probably already know what it is by the title of the video, but you probably don't because it's probably something that you've never heard of. So I'm gonna open this up and uh, get really excited about that. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, this thing's awesome. Alright. This is a fight stick. Uh, specifically the Hori Fighting Edge um, arcade stick. This is so you can play certain games uh, like you do in an arcade. Uh, specifically for me, I'm going to be using this to play fighting games. This is going to be a little bit of a review, but uh, mostly I'm just excited to get my first arcade stick. And I've learned in my adolescent life to uh, always keep your boxes because uh, you might move and you might move in, uh, the stuff away. So it's just nice to have the box still uh, when you move locations and whatnot. Plus, you never know when things might get super popular or cool. So that's another reason why to keep your boxes. So for example, uh, I wish I never had thrown away like my classic N64 boxes. Uh, cause those things are really cool looking and kind of, uh, kind of priceless now. And, uh, a lot of the original boxes of N64 cartridges, they don't really exist very much anymore. But, uh, if I would have known that I would have been way into collecting that kind of stuff, I would have done that in a heartbeat. Oh, it has tabs. That's why I could not open that before. Okay, probably should have washed my hands, but, uh... Not that incredibly dirty. I had to do some clean. I cleaned a little bit while I had to free and wait. Let's see. Smells delicious. Uh, get this out here. I'm gonna drop it immediately. That. Uh, it's actually pretty light. Um, it's kind of what I expected for uh, how heavy it is. And apologies for the uh, wonky, wonky camera angle. Comes in this nice uh, protective shipping shit. I don't know. I'm just I'm just blabbing right now to fill in time. Not really good at unboxing videos. Okay. Oh, hot damn. Oh, this thing is beautiful. Jesus Christ. Oh, look at that. I forget what they called it, but it had, they said it had like a, a steel cut stainless steel edge thing on it. I'm not exactly sure what they called it. Um, uh, I don't need to read that later. But, oh man, I'll get better shots of this, but, uh, look at this. This thing is pretty cool. Let's see. Ooh. Chris buttons, uh, options. Yep. PlayStation button. And I believe, uh, it also has on the back uh, compartments for, um, cords, so, yep, this is a USB cord specifically to, uh, because it works for PlayStation, um, and PC, so that's really cool. I believe this right here, this button, is, uh, the touchpad for PlayStation 4, so, wow, this is beautiful. A good reason why, um, this, uh, steel, this, uh, forget what you call it, but this, uh, nice steel finish that they have on it. Uh, is because that um, it doesn't have fingerprints. It doesn't show fingerprints. Um, same thing with the stick too. Not sure if you can hear that, but I some good sounding sticks. Crisp buttons. So yeah, I'm very excited to play uh, with this. Always wanted to use a stick, uh, but uh, never had the chance or uh, uh, know how to do it because it's a lot about muscle memory. And I finally figured with Soul Calibur 6 coming out, Perfect opportunity to uh, try it. I went into the Soul Calibur 6 beta and tried to use the stick for the first time. Now, I've never really used a stick for really playing, only a couple times at arcades. So this was a new experience doing this for me for the first time in an actual game. Now there is a stipulation that is if you use an arcade stick for fighting games, that immediately makes you better, which is not the case. Sure, your fingers are closer to all the buttons instead of on the controller or pad where you have to move your thumb individually versus the stick where all your buttons are at your fingertips, but that does not mean that you will be a better player if you switch to an arcade stick. 
It all just depends on muscle memory, and if you're used to playing on the controller all your life, going to an arcade stick is pretty weird. Now luckily when I went to Galloping Ghost Arcade for 7 hours playing nothing but arcade games, my fingers got way more used to playing arcade sticks, so it took me a little bit of time to adjust. The only real reason why I wanted to play on an arcade stick is because I wanted something different, a new challenge, and I wanted to be able to go back to an arcade and feel completely at home with a arcade stick. I feel that it's going back to the arcade roots, obviously, and I felt really cool actually playing an arcade stick. And there you have it, that will teach that button masher not to just mash buttons willy nilly. Overall, the stick is fantastic, I can't wait to play games on it, I'm looking forward to playing all my fighters now on this stick, and maybe some other classic arcade games would be pretty fun to play on it. Thank you again so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.